مشاهدينا الاعزاء اهلا بكم مره اخرى في طبيب على الهواء وضيفنا اليوم الدكتور عبد الله براون اوكي دكتور براون we've talked about risks and uh, suitability of laser and lasix are or is lasix has any limitations what are these limitations then Uh, well, certainly there are limitations. Uh, there are limitations of age. There are limitations of on the glasses. Uh, yes. If a person is too young or too old, then uh, they are disqualified. Um, if their glasses prescription is too strong, then it's not good for them. Uh, and there are many. Uh, there are many conditions which, if a person has a certain condition, they really should not have the LASIK. Like what? Well, for example, keratoconus is a big one, or uh, just the danger signs of keratoconus, uh, dry eyes. Uh, a very common one is pregnancy. You know, I mean, a, a, a woman who is pregnant should not have the LASIK. Uh, Even in the first trimester or the whole period of pregnancy? The, the entire pregnancy. Why is that then? And for a couple of months after the pregnancy. Why is that? It's the fluid shift. You know, you know, women gain a lot of fluid, and then It's after they give birth, they lose the, the fluid, and this affects the power of the eye. So if you do LASIK during this period, you may be correcting the wrong power. So then after she gives birth, even though the vision was good during pregnancy, uh, the vision may you know, get worse after pregnancy. It's a, it's a big mistake that, that is commonly made. Mm -hmm. and, the, and the point here really is that uh, a lot of people are doing LASIK like a business. Mm -hmm. You know, they, they move the people through like cattle, mm -hmm. in one end, out the other, mm -hmm. right? Uh, but you really need somebody who is, is careful to screen for the risk factors, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. right? So that uh, they give you the best chance of a good result. Dr. Brown says that there are some people who have a risk of the LASIK, or the LASIK has a limit in the cases of the patients with the LASIK, the LASIK 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 with the LASIK, حتى هم الكثيرات من المشاهدات ان هو اثناء فتره الحمل تبع راي الدكتور عبد الله براون واقع خبرته الطويله خلال فتره الحمل وبعد الحمر بشهرين هو لا ينصح باجراء عمليات الليسكس انا سالته ليه قال لي لان خلال الحمل بيحصل نوع من الاضطراب في توزيع السوائل داخل الجسم بصفه عامه وداخل العين فقد يؤثر هذا على النتيجه المرجوه من عمليات الليسك اثناء الحمل right so There are plenty or many, or too many actually, too many LASIK providers. Why is that then? Why is this, this not unified to specific centers of excellence, for example? Well, you know, this, this is an interesting point. In, in the medical field, when, when you are talking about uh, uh, medical procedures, usually, uh, usually these, these centers grow up by reputation, right? right. Uh, you know this as a doctor, and yes. you know this, yeah. But uh, LASIK, in, in LASIK more than anything, anything else I can think of in my profession, people don't look so much at the reputation of the person as at the cost. The first question out of their mouths is how much. Which you know? is a reality in a way. It's, it's a reality, of course, but uh, there are some things that you don't want bargains on. Exactly. You know? And, uh, and, and so this has given rise to a lot of inexpensive centers. Mm -hmm. And some of them actually can be good, but some of them also have older equipment or less qualified doctors or, like I said, they're more of a business than a medical practice. Mm -hmm. And you put yourself in these people's hands, well, okay, it's your choice. Right. But you take your risks and uh, right. you live with the result. Right. حياة تور براون برضو أنا سألت سؤال مهم طب ليه يعني في مراكز كثيرة متعددة بتؤدي هذا النوع من العلاجات زي الليسك وما هيش موحدة في مركز للتميز الإكلينيكي مثلا قال لي ده سؤال مهم لأن هو لابد أن تكون يعني الاختيارات متعددة وإن المركز بيبني سمعته الطيبة على مدى كفاءة الأطباء اللي فيه نجاح العمليات معاملته مع المرضى وخلافه وقال انه المريض الحقيقه اول ما بيجي له بيتكلم عن السعر، فانا قلت له الحقيقه طب ما هي التكلفه في العمليه الطبيه شيء مهم يعني شيء مهم للمريض اللي هيجري هذه العمليه وهيدفعها، قال لي في امور في حياه الانسان وبالذات متعلقه بالبصر هذه النعمه الجليله من الله سبحانه وتعالى ما الواحد مش هيفاصل فيها، فلا بد ان يذهب الى احسن مركز متميز عشان ما يحصلش اي مضاعفات لا قدر الله في المستقبل. Is the LASIK better here or in the United States or in England, Europe, because a lot of people travel. Yeah, and yeah. You, know, you know, our people in this part of the world, whether they like it or not, 
sometimes they think going to the United States, going to England, they'll have the best treatment. Yeah. Is that is the case when it comes to LASIK? Let's stay being fair with ourselves as well, too. Well, you know, frankly speaking, as you said, I, I think that there is truth behind that perception. Uh, on average, on average, I think the healthcare services across the board are better in the West than they are in the Middle East. Yes. But that's on average. There are exceptions to that. Mm -hmm. um, the reason that I work for Mugrabi is because I feel the standard of care here is at the height of excellence. And uh, it, is, uh, it, it rivals anything I've seen in the West. Uh, Why is that? Is it the, the technology, <laughs> results, or uh, Dr. style of work? Or? Well, Dr. Akif and the, you know, the administrative and medical staff here have made a strong effort to, uh, to duplicate the training, the equipment, and the standards of medical care of the West. Yeah. So, a, as a result, uh, as a result, the, the Mugrabi group has achieved a very, very high standard of excellence. Hmm. And uh, as a matter of fact, you have to remember that, that I was the medical director of a couple of ophthalmology clinics uh, in, in the West, one in England and one in America, and uh, that I have more equipment, more high quality equipment here than I did at either of my clinics, either in England or in America. I so I am, I am better equipped to give a, a good quality result here than I was in the West. Interesting. Yes, I told you, I told Brown, Hell, Lizzie, Hena Ahsan, or Fi America, or Fi Britannia. احنا في مجتمعاتنا الناس لسه بعضهم عنده اعتقاد انه لو سافر الخارج هياخد علاج احسن وخدمه احسن ونتائج احسن فهو الحقيقه بامانه شديده رد عليا وقال لي ان قد يكون وراء هذا الاعتقاد شيء من الصحه لو خدنا المستوى الخدمات الصحيه على المستوى العام الشمولي قد يكون في الغرب والعالم الصناعي احسن ولكن هناك شذوذ في هذه القاعده فمثلا مجموعه مشفيات ومراكز مغربي اللي الدكتور عبد الله براون بيشتغل مدير الطبي لاحداها في المدينه المنوره تتميز بان عندها تقنيه تدريب الاطباء تدريب الكوادر التعليم الطبي المستمر خدمات متميزه هو كان قال لي ان هو كان مدير لاحد العيادات لامراض العيون عياده منهم كبيره جدا في مستشفى عسكري في الولايات المتحده وايضا في بريطانيا وهنا هو كان عنده الاجهزه التقنيه الحديثه اللي بتخليه أو تقدر تعمل تخليه يقدر يقدم خدمات متميزة بنتائج أحسن وإحنا بنتكلم طبعا مع السادة المشاهدين عشان نكون واضحين عن استخدامات الليسك في علاج عيوب الانكسار. We'll take another quick commercial break sir and then I'll come back to you shortly. أعزائي المشاهدين بناخد وقفة إعلانية أخرى وبنرجع نكمل الكلام مع الدكتور عبد الله براون في هذا فإلى اللقاء إن شاء الله بعد الوقت.